Nollywood actress Funke Akindele has been named the People's Democratic Party Deputy Governorship Candidate of Lagos State. Dear Lagosians, it's important to share with you my decision to venture into what I consider a much bigger facet of service to humanity. I am convinced it's best to hear directly from me. With my known career in the entertainment industry spanning over 25 years and the God-given grace to achieve quite remarkable success, I have had the privilege of access to work and engage with people from all walks and strata of life. Within this period, I've watched with great concern the plight of the less fortunate, especially in the youth category. And this drifted me towards my less popular but equally strong passion, which is to help, assist, and contribute to the growth of youths, women, and children. I was raised by a strict teacher father who retired as a school principal and a caring mother who is a medical doctor to be hardworking and to have value for life. Therefore, dignity of labor and compassion for the needy became second nature to me and resulted in the birth of the Jennifer Foundation. With this, I've been able to reach out and help the youths by providing job opportunities and welfare to those in need. I am a Lagosian, born out of Ikorodu. So when the Lagos PDP gubernatorial candidate, Dr. Abdulaziz Olajide Adediron Jando, asked me to be his running mate as a deputy governor in the next year's gubernatorial election, I saw it as an opportunity to help liberate and improve the welfare of our people, particularly the deprived youth, women, and the girl child. My decision is not only to accept this huge responsibility, but also to work tirelessly and complement Jando's burning desire to see our dear state of Lagos live up to its full potential with the people as immediate and direct beneficiaries. Over the years, a lot of young people have been ignored, victimized, maimed, for daring to have a dream. So I use this opportunity to call out all well-meaning residents of Lagos, especially the youths. It's indeed time to use our numerical strength to our full advantage. It's time to take our rightful place in matters that concerns our lives and our future. It's time to rally ourselves and support our own. I am not unaware of the cost of this assignment to my vibrant career which I must now necessarily put on hold. It's a huge personal sacrifice. But my resolve is that no sacrifice is too much for the actualization of the urgent mission to rescue our people and our dear state. I must express my deep appreciation both to our party leadership and our gubernatorial candidates for considering me worthy of such a great call to serve our people. It's a call that I take with reverence and utmost sense of responsibility. Indeed, we can achieve a Lagos that truly works for all her residents, as opposed to a privileged, hand-picked few. The actress confirmed her deputy governorship candidacy in a video she put out on social media which she captioned calling Jando a breath of fresh air. With this position, she has become the running mate of the PDP Lagos State Governorship candidate Olajide Adediron, popularly called Jando. Funke Akindele in the video she posted revealed some of her reasons for accepting to run as deputy governor on the PDP platform. She said, Meanwhile, when she said her name at the end of the video, the Kurudu born indigene of Lagos didn't include her husband's name, Bello. This comes two weeks after her husband, JJC Skills, announced that they have gone their separate ways. Bello, who confirmed the separation on social media, said things had not been going well between him and the actress in the last two years, adding that all efforts expended on reconciling their differences had proved abortive. The actress, however, has remained silent on her separation from her husband as she is yet to address Pelosi's claims. On the other hand, Jando has come out to review his reasons for the choice of Funke Akindele as his running mate. Confirming her nomination, Jando explained that he picked not just an actress, but a filmmaker and a lawyer who has been creating jobs for Nigerian youth for many years now. The Lagos PDP governorship flag bearer said,
Nigerians have come out to say that the actress is allowing herself to be deceived as the whole thing is a plan by the old folks to set up the youths. See comments below. What is your take on Funke Akindele becoming the PDP deputy gubernatorial candidate?